Hey, Good Life family, thank you so much for joining us for today's 128 moment. For our 128 moment today, I wanna to take us in a slightly different direction than normal. If you've been joining us for our Sunday gatherings at all in the recent past, we've been in a series called The Gospel. And one of our elders this past Sunday, Dan Chantier, he concluded our Gospel series. And I wanna spend our 128 moment beginning to prime our thought process and prepare us for the new series that we're kicking off this Sunday. In addition, invite us in to the main idea behind it. This new series is called Reclamation Projects. In John 21, what we concluded this past Sunday is a great launching pad for it, but the main purpose and idea of Reclamation Projects is simply that God uses imperfect people to accomplish His purpose. He uses imperfect people to accomplish His purpose. And we saw that in John 21 with Peter and even the disciples. And this Sunday, we're going to continue with the disciples by studying Thomas. And in addition, throughout this series, we're going to be looking at some people like Jonah, Gideon, Ruth, Mary, and Joseph, all unlikely people that God used to accomplish his purpose. And that should be good news for you and I, because if we're honest, it's also very unlikely that God would use broken people like us, at least through our worldly lens. But in reality, it actually positions us perfectly to be used by God. It reminds me of this New Testament scripture in 2 Corinthians. The Apostle Paul wrote this. He said, But he, that's Christ, said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my, weak of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses so that the power of Christ will rest upon me. What a beautiful mindset and invitation. The reality is that we, as we study the scripture together over the coming weeks and look at these different people that were reclamation projects, it's an invitation for us to also realize that our weaknesses, our mess ups, our past, it does not exclude us from God accomplishing his purpose through us. In fact, our weakness just positions us even more so for God to be glorified, for God to be honored, and for God to use broken people like you and like me. So our hope is that throughout this series, it'll be an encouragement to you and be freedom to you to know that God is ready with open arms to not only receive us with love, but he is ready to take broken people like you and I and help use us to see the kingdom continue to come to this world and specifically for us in our area. So church family, that's where we're headed this Sunday and for the next few Sundays, Reclamation Projects. I'm going to go ahead and just tee us off and throw it to kind of our intro video for this Sunday. Thank you guys for joining us for the 128 moment. And let's go ahead and get a little sneak peek. <laughs> 